Alright, hello guys, welcome back to another video. So I wanted to come on here today to talk about the Wilbur Soot allegations. If you guys are not aware with what is going on, essentially abuse allegations have came out against Wilbur Soot. If you guys don't know who that guy is, he is essentially a Minecraft YouTuber. You might know him from the Dream SMP, you might know him from his music, or you just might know him from other things. Now essentially how these allegations came out in the first place was around four days ago, a YouTuber and Twitch streamer who goes by the name of Shubble did a live stream about the alleged abuse. And essentially in this live stream, she was talking about an ex-partner and how this ex-partner did some bad things to her. And she doesn't specifically say who the ex-partner is. But while I was doing some research for this video, I came across a Wilbur Soot music video. And if you do look at the description of that video, you can see that Shovel was included in the credits of that music video. And just for a little bit of context here and why she was in that music video is because she was apparently dating Wilbur Soot at that time. And at some point they broke up. And then as a four days ago we get this live stream VOD where she's talking about a potentially abusive ex-partner she once had. And when this came out we didn't have proof 100% that it was Wilbur but a lot of people with knowing this information about how she was behind some of Wilbur's projects and people knowing about them dating they immediately started blaming Wilbur. Now let's just take a look at what she alleges against this former partner in this stream VOD. Uh, he had this habit of biting which is so weird to me now but he said that he had had this habit since he was a kid, and even his mom said that that was true. And he said it was just affectionate, and that that might have been... I mean, I think that that might have been true maybe at the start, but I also feel that I have good reason to believe that every part of it was a lie, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, and I had no problem with just biting. That isn't even the most uncommon thing. Um, but he did mention something early that I should have taken as a red flag um, and he wanted to make sure that I was okay with him biting me because he didn't want me to come back later and say that he abused me which I thought was really weird considering he had never hurt me before and so why would I call it abuse and why was he thinking about that and I thought he was being sweet checking on me to make sure that I was still comfortable um, but I, of course I was because he hadn't hurt me, and why would I think he ever would? Now, just a few things to note. I don't really have too many plans of criticizing or giving my opinion in this video due to the subject that we're talking about. But when it comes down to her saying and claiming things without showing evidence, I usually tend to take things like that with a grain of salt, and I think everybody should. And that's not because I'm trying to discredit her or say, oh, this didn't happen. Like, I'm still listening, and I'm still here, and I feel for this person. But it's just like, we don't know 100% if this is how it actually happened, if this is actually what he said. And I don't know if we're ever going to know what what exactly he did say. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I don't want to have another quite situation or another dream situation where people immediately jump on things. And I mean, I can't control Twitter, but like, I'm just trying to be fair to everyone in this situation. I don't want anybody to get slandered or anything like that. And if people were hurt in this situation, like at the same time, I feel for those people. Now, in terms of the biting, just me personally, I find that to be kind of weird. It's not something I would do, but hey, people are into their own things, I guess. But it all comes down to if she was fine with it and if he had consent to do it or not he started biting me more and more over a period of time sort of throughout the whole relationship and accidents of him biting too hard and really hurting me happened more and more frequently um but he always seemed genuinely sorry and he decided that he didn't want to keep accidentally hurting me um so we were going to use a safe word um, so he could learn where my limit was, where my pain tolerance ended. Uh, and saying that out loud now doesn't sound like that's not very sound logic. Um, but at the time, I thought he cared about not hurting me. But in reality, it's like, why are you biting so hard? And why do you have to bite so hard? And it shouldn't be that hard of a problem to stop. Um, that shouldn't be that hard. And he disguised it as this really quirky part of our relationship and was so comfortable sharing it with his friends to the point that he would do it in front of them. He thought it was this really funny story to tell and a good bit to take my arm and bite me in front of everybody until I literally shout in pain. Um, and then I have to laugh it off because I'm so embarrassed and I don't want to cause a scene in front of all of our friends and I'm sure everyone was a little bit uncomfortable, but as long as I was saying that it was fine, 
nobody really felt like they needed to be concerned. And that's not anybody's fault because I was lying. <laughs> I was lying and it wasn't fine because I would go home later and I'd tell him how uncomfortable I was, how much I didn't like being hurt all the time. And I needed him to really stop biting so hard. I didn't like it. And I tried telling him over and over again because he wasn't actually trying at all to not hurt me. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say this is abuse or this isn't abuse because I just do not know. I'm not a qualified professional, but regardless of what it is, it's really fucking weird. Once again, people are into their own things, their own nasty things, and I usually don't have a problem with people being into their little nasty things like that as long as it's not illegal, but like genuinely, this one is really weird. Now, when it comes down to you not liking something that he's doing and you make that apparently clear to him that you don't want him doing this specific thing to you, and he keeps going ahead and doing it, that's just very fucking wrong. But in this case so far, what I am seeing is you just didn't want him to do it that hard. Which if you didn't want him to do it that hard, and you were telling him not to do it that hard, it definitely is pushing the boundaries. And maybe he shouldn't have been doing that. But yeah, definitely what he was doing sounds really degenerate. And I mean, regardless of if this is abuse or not, yeah, no, I'm happy that he got exposed for doing something really fucking weird. Because this just goes to show that like, these content creators that a lot of people look up to aren't always the best people out there. Like I've said this many times on many videos before, like always be wary of people on the internet because you don't know what happens behind the scenes or how they are off camera, off video, off stream. And who knows, they could be like this. And I can look back now and I can see all these instances that were really major red flags. Um, there was this one time that he pinned me down and asked me to try my absolute hardest to get him off of me. And I couldn't do it, obviously. And he said something to make the point that he was so much stronger than me that I wouldn't be able to fight him back. Fight back against what? What do you mean? You don't say shit like that to people? That's insane. Um... And I was also sexually assaulted by my first boyfriend, and he knew that. Yeah, no, this guy seems like a really shitty person, honestly. I'm not really too sure about the abuse allegations, but yeah, he he really seems like a shitty person. I'm not even lying here. Like, I just can't wrap my head around why you would say that to somebody. Like, I'm not sure if he thought that he had more power over her, and she really couldn't do anything about it, and that's what he was trying to do there. But like, yeah, that's one of the things maybe you shouldn't be doing, regardless of the intent. Now, anyways, moving on, I'm not going to show the whole 30-minute stream VOD, because of course it's way too long. But yeah, I essentially went over the main parts of that stream VOD. If you guys want to watch the whole thing in its entirety, it is on YouTube. Just search up Shovel and then you should be able to find it. But the parts that I really didn't go over are the parts where she talks about how he really didn't pick up after himself or really take care of himself. Like at times she was saying that he would spill something and then he would just never clean it up. There was an ant infestation. There was black mold and other things. Like it's just crazy what you can see if you're behind the scenes and you see the person for who they are and not who they are behind the camera like i'll be honest he did not look too bad behind the camera but hearing somebody who knew him personally and their perspective on him and hearing that he came to do the bare minimum of like taking care of himself like it's crazy but not surprising now anyways moving on after this came out wilbur actually put out a response on his twitter and uh yeah let's go over it so this was posted yesterday on february 27th 2024 and he goes on to say in the past week a series of allegations have been made over my conduct from an ex-girlfriend i want to empathize that all Although I feel it fair to offer my perspective, this person's feelings are completely valid. I have taken my time sharing this statement as I wanted to process and respond respectfully and with the hope to gain a deeper understanding for the situation. During our relationship's final months, I regrettably became slobbish, disrespectful, and selfish. These actions caused a lot of pain to my ex-girlfriend and I have sought therapy to address these behaviors, making significant lifestyle changes to rectify my past actions. I I've come to realize how much my behavior hurt this person, but I truly compassionately believe I have made great strides from the person I once was and hope I can continue to grow and improve on this trajectory. The allegations of abuse, particularly in the form of biting, deeply shocked me. Throughout our relationship, I understood from our numerous conversations and text message exchanges on the subject that this behavior was consensual, playful, and reciprocally enjoyed. I truly believe those personal message 
exchanges reflect mutual affection and understanding. Out of respect for her, I chose to not publish them and I emphasize my perspective is not shared to diminish or invalidate anyone's feelings. Instead, I share it in the hope that I can offer a genuine, fair, and relevant insight into my understanding of the situation. While I may perceive our interactions differently, I recognize that this person has processed and expressed feelings of hurt. I want to extend my sincerest apologies for any pain that I caused. I am fully committed to understanding and addressing her concerns going forward. I hope my perspective sheds light on the situation without detracting from its message. I am dedicated to earning and maintaining the trust of those around me and hope I can continue to be held to these high standards I wish to attain and maintain. Will. So first off, while reading that, I mean, it literally looked like your PR team wrote this and I really don't know how genuine it actually was. But I mean, besides that, I really don't have too much to say about it. I mean, you guys can take this however you would like to. I mean, a lot of people are on Twitter right now canceling him. And I know this is not drama, but a lot of people are against this guy on Twitter right now. And I can't say I agree with all of them, but I don't think this type of behavior should be praised. And that's all I'm really going to say about that. And also one more thing I would like to say is that I would love to see some evidence to further show that he actually is an abuser. Because I know about the biting stuff, but I'm not too sure about the abusing part as he's saying one thing and she's saying another thing. Now that's not me discrediting her or invalidating what she is saying, but I personally want to see some evidence. I'll also hold it for a second. I also think it would be good if he could maybe show this evidence that, you know, vindicates him instead of just saying that he has it and that being pretty much it. Because if he did show that and he actually properly defended himself, his career probably wouldn't have ended, honestly. Because this is a very, very bad look. Now, after this response was put out, a lot of fellow Minecraft YouTubers came out to share their thoughts on the situation. Now, I'm going to show small portions of what each creator had to say. I will not be able to show everything because it's just way too much. I was waiting for Wilbur to say anything about anything and um, I, I was informed about this like a few minutes before going live. So forgive me if I don't have my thoughts 100% clear in my head, but I read through it and like, bro, I, 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 I made me so angry. It may, I actually couldn't fucking believe it. Like I didn't, I didn't, I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not biased in this. I think that response was fucking vile. I'm like, how the hell can you make like, how the hell can like this be about you, bro? Like, I, I literally don't want to say. I want to say. I want to make something very clear. There is this, th this, this is. If anyone in this channel or any viewer in this stream, can, fucking hell, can I have three seconds? <coughs> if any ch chatter in this stream or any person in this, in this like community ever thinks about defending domestic abuse or anything like that or anything in that vein, or anything that fucking serious, all right? You have no place here, and I want you to unfollow, and I want you to leave. I, once again, want to reiterate, if you are replying, and you are coming into my chat and saying that my take is wrong, I would like you to go onto Twitter, and I would like you to read what, what Wilbur said again. At the end of the day, if you make a statement or an attempt at an apology, and all you begin it with is saying that you have changed. That is not an apology. And also... The shit one. Now another person who decided to respond to this too actually happens to be a familiar face. We know the guy as Dream. <laughs> yeah, he, he made a response too. And it's pretty long. She says she withdrew consent using a safe word and that you frequently would intentionally bite down harder afterward to the point that she would scream. Even isolated from everything else, that is clearly abuse. While reading this, I was waiting to see you talk about that issue, to say anything at all, only to finish reading and find out that you didn't acknowledge it once. I really don't understand how you thought this was accountability or an apology or even an informative statement. This did serve as confirmation she was talking about you, which I'm glad to have. Wilbur, you take accountability for being slobbish, disrespectful, and selfish. And it seems those are the things that you acknowledge as past problems, while overshadowing the physically abusive actions and claiming to be completely reformed now. You seem to truly think you did nothing abusive and the statement is built off that foundation. You are being dishonest with yourself or dishonest with us or 
or both. You describe these acts as consensual without refuting her complete revocation of consent through your agreed upon safe word, a word set with the purpose of explicitly ending consent. She trusted you with the safe word as a boundary. You shattered that trust. Therapy won't help if you seriously describe your abusive actions as playful, affectionate, and especially consensual. Your therapist can't read your mind and know you're being dishonest. Shelby was afraid to say your name due to your dedicated audience, and this wasn't acknowledged either. As someone who at times shared an audience with you, this is severely disappointing. She had a reason to be afraid to say your name, but you shouldn't have been afraid to say hers. Shelby, I'm sorry you had to go through this. I'm sorry that you felt scared about public support, and I hope this gives you some hope that the world overall is full of good people. I'm sorry that you will forever be affected by this. As a victim of domestic violence, I was scared to ever speak out in fear of not being taken seriously or believed. It's incredibly encouraging to see so many people express support and uplift your story and message, and I believe this can help prevent many future situations like yours. I'm sorry if any events involving me or my audience in the past contributed at all to your anxiousness about coming forward in this community, and I hope this serves as a reminder to everyone that at the end of the day, the community and creators are united when it comes to the most important things. The truth, what's right and wrong, speaking for those who can't, uplifting the voices of those that might otherwise go unheard, standing up for what's right and speaking against those that do wrong. Your story you told will help so many young people see signs of toxicity and abuse before it's too late for them. Thank you for being brave. So I guess that's what Dream had to say about that. When it comes down to Dream's response, a lot of people feel good about it, but a lot of people also do not because people think that Dream is overall a bad person for the things that happened in the past. I'm not sure if people are talking about the allegations or whatever that happened in the past that he disproved, but like if that's what they're talking about, that is pretty pathetic. But yeah, anyways, besides that, you guys can take that however you would like to and feel free to form your own opinion about this if you would like to. And I think with that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys happen to enjoy the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so it gets promoted more in the algorithm so more people see it. Thank you so much for being a member to the channel. Your support really means the world to me and I really appreciate it. Now with that being said, my name is Brion and I will see you in my next video. Peace.